Right, so we've talked in our videos about Brazil and the beauties of the Seychelles and, and so on when it comes to where's your money. So today I wanted to explain to you what happens to your money when you choose to trade with a, with a FCA regulated broker like, like Darwin X. Start off with the simplest possible ways, you know, where's your money? Well, your money starts up in your account because that's where it's yours, right? Right, okay, so money's in your bank. <clears throat> and then before we get onto how it gets to us, let me explain what us means. So Darwinix has currently three banking relationships with uh, Santander, NatWest, and Sabadell in, in London. And we operate what we call client trusts, client trust accounts. A client trust account is an account held in the name of our broker but which has special restrictions, which means that if for whatever reason our broker were to default, all monies in this account are to be paid out to clients before they're paid out to any ordinary creditors in our company. Okay, that's what the client trust account. And in addition to this client trust account, which of course is an account designated for client monies, not our own, we have to have another corporate account or the house account for our own shareholders' money, where we, you know, we basically pay our, our employees and so on, who have kids who go to school and that sort of stuff, right? So, in addition to having the bank accounts, we have prime broker relationships with uh, people who extend us and therefore you credit to tap into the markets. We'll talk about how markets work in other in other uh, sessions, but for now, let's just say there's a prime broker over here. We trade with a whole bunch of them, including Saxo, LMAX, IS Prime, uh, and CFH when it comes to OTC assets. And of course, there's a question of credit. So if you want to trade with us on leverage, then we the fact that you're placing a bet, but of course, you know, if you win the bet, you'll want us to pay you. But if you lose your bet, you know, we'll need you to pay us because that was just going to be missing. That's missing from customers, right? So the first thing that we need is that you either directly or indirectly, as we shall see, wire funds to the client trust account. Okay, that this is margin that you... And let's say you're our very first customer. So in order for you to trade on a direct market access basis, the way we offer trading, then we will have to post some monies onto the prime brokerage account so that we can place the trades in the first place. So the answer, where's my money? In short, for, uh, for our clients is, well, as much as we can is with our bank in the client trust account, and a certain amount, uh, which is basically scoped out to meet the maximum potential net open position by all our client base, is with our prime brokers. So. What, uh, what should worry you? Well, what should worry you is either the bank defaults and the money is gone, or the prime broker defaults and the money is gone, or Darwin X defaults and the money is gone. And now, because this risk is unavoidable and is certainly there, there is a public insurance policy called the Financial Services Compensation Scheme, which guarantees up to £85,000 per account or per customer, per individual customer, for any client or for any retail client of an uh, FCA regulated broker. So these three things can happen, but that's why the state in extends an insurance, which costs a pretty penny for regulated brokers, by the way, uh, for £85,000 per customer. So that's where your money is. Now, there are variations to this in that it's become fashionable to send monies not from bank to bank, but potentially from a credit card provider or an electronic monies provider. So this could be an e-wallet. And because there are a lot of people who demand these sort of payment solutions, we, we have enabled some e-wallets. So that we can receive monies in that way. <clears throat> now, e-wallets are conceptually similar, but not identical to the bank accounts because an e-wallet, so the money comes from you to us, but the FCA does not accept e-wallets as a designated client trust account. So these are um, 
interim accounts whereby your money goes to from here to there in our in our name and then we have to pre-fund either take the money from here immediately to put it into the client trust accounts because otherwise it's not safe or we will have to use our own capital to pay that into the client trust account because this de facto is equivalent to that it's actually if we were to go bust our, any funds in our e-wallet would belong to the Darwinic shareholders, not to the clients. Now, all this to mention that e-wallets are convenient and so on, but they are a more expensive solution for, for us to entertain. And, uh, you know, we'll probably be much more willing to subsidize any deposits in the client trust account than we are into the e-wallets, which, by the way, are quite expensive to us. And again, we can run a, a video on that. Sure.